If you don't have insurance, the time is running out to sign up for insurance somewhere or you're going to face a hefty fine. Yeah, tonight, as Karen Brown reports, the thought of shelling out thousands of dollars in penalties is still not enough to get some folks to sign up. Karen? Yeah, Carrie and Fields, here's some good news. Since October, 129,000 people here in Arizona have signed up for their health coverage, but there are about a million folks who are eligible who have yet to acquire their coverage, and many of those are the ones that Secretary Kathleen Sebelius calls the young invincibles. When Secretary Kathleen Sebelius took the podium in downtown Phoenix, if that's easier, she was taking aim at folks like this guy, 32-year-old college-educated Nate Eklund, one of the many successful young people choosing not to pay for health coverage. So as a financial advisor, you've advised yourself it's not cost-effective to get health insurance. That's correct. For me. Especially now with um, the Obamacare, that if I do ever get seriously sick, I will automatically be accepted into any health plan. <laughs> Sounds bad, but that's that's the truth. Well, I hope he'll reconsider. It's part of growing up. We asked the secretary about Nate's position. Pay the thousand dollar fine, then five thousand dollars for insurance that he doesn't feel he needs. He is just the kind of person who we hope would take a little more responsibility for himself. That's what most people's problem with Obamacare is that you're going to have a largely sick population. Uh, is wanting the, the health care and the healthy part of the population doesn't want to pay into the system. And, and the federal government is getting ready to find folks if they don't sign up by March 31st. The biggest confusion point is they think that the penalty is very low. But CPA Bob Hawkinsmith says it's 1% of your income for 2014, 2% 2 for 2015. And they're going to go, wait a minute, why is my taxes so high? And I'm going to have to explain, well, you didn't sign up for health insurance. And but Nate says it still doesn't add up for him. Those fines will be cheaper for me than actually paying for the health insurance. All right, we asked the secretary about Nate's plan that if something bad were to happen, he would just get insurance then. Her point is this, yes, nobody can be denied coverage, but it's not retroactive. So those few days that he would be without coverage, he would be responsible for those costs. Of course, we hope Nate has perfect health. Reporting live in downtown Phoenix, I'm Karen Brown, 3TV.